So my name is Sabrina Dagok, um, and I'm going to be presenting to you about how confidence is key. So first, I kind of want to just introduce myself and who I am. Um, I know a lot of you kind of already know me, but um, I am very passionate about fashion. Um, it's something that I've loved ever since I was little. Um, this is just kind of a screenshot of my about page on my website. Um, I, a certain type of fashion that I'm really interested in is streetwear fashion. It's something that I feel like really kind of expresses who I am. Um, and I'm a public relations major um, with an emphasis in entertainment and events. And it says that you can never find me without a pair of gold hoops, but I guess today you can. Um, <laughs> the first day in history. Um, but yeah, that's kind of who I am. Um, I remember when I was little, like in elementary school, I was part of student leadership and I wore these knee-high rainbow socks and shorts and my student leadership t-shirt like every Thursday. I thought I was like the coolest person ever just because I look so different from everyone else. I always love to just be unique in that way. Um, I had these sleeves that I could take off. They're like removable sleeves with like holes where you can put your thumbs in and stuff. And I just thought I, they were like camo and I thought I was so cool for that. People were always like, oh my gosh, I wish I could wear those. Where'd you get them? And I was in like fourth grade. So I thought I was really cool. Um, <laughs> but that's just, ever since I can remember, I've always dressed myself. Like my mom never really told me how to dress. I always did that on my own. I remember I was like five and I, my favorite thing was to just pick out my clothes for the day and see what I wanted to dress like. Um, but as for confidence, I think confidence goes way beyond clothing. I remember even up until now, I still have friends who ask me like, I wish that I could wear this. I wish that I could rock that, those camo pants. I wish I could wear that skirt. I wish I could dress like this. And I really, really, really believed ever since I found out that I've just loved fashion so much that you can wear anything you want as long as you're confident in yourself. And I really believe that. You can dress boho yesterday and then dress streetwear today and dress really formal tomorrow. And I think that if you're confident, no one's going to question whether you're supposed to look like that today. And I think that's really cool. So confidence goes way beyond clothing. I think it goes on to how you carry yourself, um, your happiness, and your success. And I also think that it's very important in the world of PR. So I think confidence um, is kind of like an external characteristic. But in the world of PR, this is my definition of PR that we were told to make through our time here at Biola. So public relations is a social art that requires effective communication, ethical reasoning, and selfless selflessness, reaching towards the greater good of the community by viewing both perspectives of the organization and its publics. So what I want you guys to focus on is public relations as a social art. I think in PR, it is, ab it is absolutely necessary. I don't think I know. We all know that it's absolutely necessary to have social skills. Um, you're going to be collaborating with so many people, working, doing different projects with other people. You're always going to be surrounded by people and your publics. You're representing your publics. You need to talk to them and communicate with them. So I think it is an art to master to how to be social with other people because um, it doesn't come easy to just everybody. So I think you need that confidence in order to be effective in that way, in order to kind of be effective in being social. So I think that confidence is an ex a good external characteristic. Um, I think it goes to how others view you and also how you carry yourself. Um, so how others view you, I think that and the way that you carry yourself, it makes people want to work with you when they see that you're confident in what you're doing. Um, I remember in high school, I took a photography class. And my teacher, he was the most fun teacher to be around. And he made the class just really fun all the time. And I remember he told the story that one time he had to get into this like exclusive area. And um, obviously, he wasn't allowed to be there. But what he did was he taught us this lesson is that he literally just walked in. That's all he did. He just walked in. He looked as confident as he could. And he is not exactly the type of person that you can kind of just walk by. He's like 6'4", really tall, like skinny dude that you just notice him when he walked into a room. But he walked in, and he was super confident. No one questioned whether he was supposed to be there or not. And he looked like he belonged. So I think that if you are confident in yourself and you look like you, you look like you belong, you'll feel like you belong as well. 
Um, and that's just kind of always stuck by me. So in the world of PR, um, like I said, if you are confident in what you are working on, people will want to work with you. And I think that gives you more credibility um, when people see that you're confident in what you're doing and they would want to work with you and like having that credibility is just a, what you want in your career. You want people to notice your work and people to know that you are good at what you're doing. But I think that confidence as an external characteristic really just stems from self-confidence. And this is probably the biggest part of my presentation that I really want to share with you guys is about self-confidence. Um, I think it is the most, impor most important characteristic to have. And confidence and happiness, I think, go hand in hand. And here are some stats that I found. I kind of just want to share with you to see how important confidence and happiness go together. So a large scale study done with 31,000 college students from 49 universities, 31 counties, and five continents. High self-esteem was the most important factor which predicted overall life satisfaction, and the link between confidence and happiness was 47%. 51% of the variations in our happiness are due to a combination of our self-esteem, psychological well-being, and effect balance. And I took stats, the stats are out in high school, so 47% and 51% is very high um, in the world of stats, just considering how many people are involved in the study. But um, you can see, obviously, that confidence and happiness go hand in hand. But I don't want to just tell you these stats and make you believe that confidence and happiness go together. I want to tell you how you can achieve that and how you can do this for yourself through my own experiences and what I've gone through and um, just how I'm happy with my life because I know that I'm confident in my work and stuff. So the most important thing that I can tell you, the most important, probably one of the biggest advice that I can give anybody, um, whether that be in the world of fashion and entertainment, music, whether you are a full-time student or you're starting a family, you're retiring, any stage of your life, I think this, I'm still learning this, but I think from what I've learned so far, this is the most, this is the best advice I can give, is to take care of yourself. And I've seen so many people in the fashion industry, I've worked with so many people who get so stressed out about their job or who just get overwhelmed by everything around them and kind of lose focus on who they are and they lose who they are and they just become the person that they don't want to be. And I've just seen that happen so many times with bosses that I've had. So what I can tell you and what I've been doing is to make a schedule. I live by the calendar on my phone. If I get my work schedule, I put it in there right away. If I know that I have to put a day on hold for a job, I put that in there. Or if I have class at a certain time, I put it down to the minute so I know exactly how my day is going to go and how it's going to be laid out so I can plan for certain things. And by making a schedule, you also have to make time for rest. And that is the biggest thing that I, the hardest lesson that I've had to learn. I feel like I'm still learning this. Um, last semester and this semester, I've just learned so much about that. Um, I always had two jobs, an internship. I took like 23 units last semester and just literally, I always just really like to feel busy and I never made time for myself. I never made time for rest. I was always like, okay, I have something till 12 and then I have something at one. I have an hour to fill my time with something else instead of just sit down and do nothing. Um, so making time for rest can come in many different forms. It doesn't have to be just hanging out with your friends. It can be literally just sitting down and reading a book. Or even doing your homework can sometimes be, can help me like not be stressed out from everything that's going on. So always make time for rest. And next, it's okay to say no. I also have to learn this because there are just so many opportunities that we're gonna get once we graduate and even now. And I just always wanna say yes. I'm like, okay, Thursday I have this job and then Friday I can do this and then Saturday I have to work and I have to do all of this and I will not have time for homework. And sometimes I wanna hang out with my friends on like Sunday 
and I can't because I know that I have to do this. It's okay to say no to your friends sometimes. It's okay to say no to a job that you think is going to be very fruitful for you because there are going to be a lot of jobs that you're going to get and a lot of different opportunities you're going to have. So just take care of yourself. But something else that I kind of want to share with you guys is to just be confident in your ability. Um, I've learned so much here at my time at Biola. Um, I remember, something I really remember is Professor Simon, he talked to me after class one time and just told me that I was really good at analyzing things and I just never thought about that and now I'm starting to notice that I do really love to analyze things. And I feel like here at Biola the professors are really good at really showing you what you're good at and I, can, like, I feel like I can move forward with that and excel in those areas. Um, next would be to be confident in God's plan. Um, that's something I also struggle with. I, I feel like I have a good grasp on what PR is now, but I don't know what I'm going to do after I graduate necessarily. I know that I know what PR is and I know that I like PR. I know I like fashion, but I don't necessarily know that I want to work for this person and this and exactly how my life is planned out. Um, I've learned to not have control over those things. And lastly is just to bring God to your industry. Um, in the world of fashion, you don't, or entertainment, you don't necessarily run into the nicest people all the time, and I've learned that. Um, I, how I bring God to my industry is just to always be kind to other people. You never know who you're talking to, and that's how I really feel like I'm showing God's love, by just being kind to everybody. So find a way to bring God to your industry, and just to be confident in your ability and be confident in God, and everything will come through, and you'll, I feel like that will really bring true happiness to yourself. Um, and that concludes my presentation and opens up for questions, if anybody has any.